We're in part two of our basic PowerShell series, and let me show you a couple of tricks here when it comes to opening PowerShell. So we can right click on our start button and we can see PowerShell admin and PowerShell in the list. So we could easily open up either one of these. Well, what's the difference? Well, if you wanna do regular PowerShell commands, then you can go ahead and click PowerShell. However, if you get an error saying, hey, you don't have the proper administrative rights to do that, then you can open up Windows PowerShell admin. So you don't really see a lot of difference here. And that's because I'm logged in as the administrator. So you see administrator at the top here and you see administrator here. So in this particular case, there is no difference. However, if you're logged in as a user that's less than the administrator with all the full rights, then it will make a difference and you will need to choose the administrator option and it'll prompt you for a username and password. And then you can go ahead and you'll have the administrator rights that you need. So that's one of the first things uh, that I wanted to show you. Another thing is you see on this left-hand side to the left of of the C colon, you see PS. That means you're in PowerShell. Also, of course, it says PowerShell at the top, but it doesn't always say that. So if we do a clear screen, then you don't see that. So we see PS to the left of the C drive, so we know we're in PowerShell. However, sometimes we want to tr uh, type a command uh, that's in a command line. So we could go down to the Start button, go to Run, and then type in CMD and we'll get a command line instead. So uh, command line is the old fashioned type of uh, commands, but we still need to use them in certain cases. Maybe we've memorized certain commands or maybe there's just not an option yet in PowerShell for that command. However, uh, we may not want to have to go down and switch back and forth between that. So there is an easier way. And that is you can just type in CMD, while you're in PowerShell, hit enter and take a look. The PS is now gone. You're now in command line mode. You're no longer in PowerShell mode. So for instance, if I type the word get, it no longer lights up like it would in a PowerShell command. So if I want to go back to PowerShell, I'll just type in PowerShell. And now I'm back in PowerShell. Now if I type the get command, you see it lights up in yellow as it normally does. Now the same thing works if I go the other direction. Let's say I'm in a command line and I want to go into PowerShell, but I don't want to necessarily have to open up another box. So I can just go ahead and type in PowerShell, hit enter, and there we are. So that's a nice little trick, a tip for you uh, to switch back and forth between PowerShell and command line. Next, we're going to take a look at the alias commands in PowerShell.